hello guys uh, good um, afternoon yeah you are welcome to my channel you are welcome to catfish uh, solution academy in here we give you in-depth information about catfish farming yeah note we are on episode uh, 11 yeah we are on episode 11 now we are episode 11 and uh, in here we are giving to you that means episode 11 on our free lecture on a to z on of catfish farming so note a to Z on cartridge farming, we are the main topic is feed formulation and but the the key word that means the subtopic we are on is food protein and the material alternation. I think we started this in our from the episode uh, I think from episode uh, from episode seven. Yeah, from episode seven. Now we are in episode uh, eleven. So please subscribe to this youtube channel and so follow us on our uh, our facebook page follow us on the facebook page and uh, follow us on all our social media the twitter the linking so that you can enjoy uh, this video i told you this is a free lecture for catfish uh, farmers on a regular basis we post this three times in a week and this will be happening year for you three times in a week it may take years because we are going to go in depth on all areas on a catfish farming so make sure that you enjoy once again my name is still main of the total is i'll be on the your great anchor on this uh, channel uh, yeah let us continue most of you produce a very expensive formulation why you can't get an alternative or replace at some certain age for example, 72 percent fish meal is very expensive in the market. So you can replace some percentage with 65 percent fish meal and add up a little feather meal. Just to mention a few. So what this means is that if you, because of the expensive of uh, because feed is expensive at present uh, what you call feed meal fish meal is expensive as present you you can alternative with 62 if you are using 72 percent fish you can alternate with it uh, 65 percent and use some blood meal <coughs> and or feather meal because feather meal has about 90 to 92 percent protein blood meal has about 90 89 1991 crude protein so with this and you are using 65 percent to an alternate 72 percent so that means if you are using just 20 kilo of 72 percent it's just a an expo because you are we are going more deeper you can use 15 percent of uh, 72 uh, 65 crude protein and use just five percent of feather meal in 100 kilo by the time you do the calculation, you may see it will be it may be higher than 72 percent. Yeah, it's an expo. Yeah, so please let us go more deeper. So as we are going to do more deeper, let me be mentioning the type of nutrient you have to look out. That means you need to watch out in your feed concentration. For your fish to grow, they need four nutrient to grow. Major nutrient that they need to grow. They are just four. So from this nutrient, they are in some of the materials you are going to use. So if you are use, using some material, you have to be selective. Selective means if you are using some materials, you need to know some nutrient they carries. If this does not carry these four nutrients, that means you need to go very fast to get material that has some of these nutrient I'll be mentioning to be added into your formulation so the number one major nutrient you need is what we call the protein protein i've talked excessively about protein and i'll be now going more deeper into protein so that you can know i'll be talking about the nutrient how it works the benefit of the nutrient to your formulation and to your fish to grow your fish well so another one is what we call the energy and the carbohydrate yeah the third one is what we call the fat and the fifth one the fourth one is what we call the vitamin and the mineral so those are the four nutrients 
that is needed inside your concentration to allow your physics to do what do well yeah so let's go for the break You are welcome you are most welcome from our break so let us just continue with our topic and if you are not subscribed to this channel make sure that you do that now make sure that you do that now the subscription is getting lower make sure that you subscribe so that and press on the notion button this will tell you when i release new video on this channel so make sure that you do that now and uh, let us go to the first uh, nutrient that we need in our feed concentration in order to achieve a very good result uh, we talked about protein protein is used in building body tissues and replacement of damaged tissues that means protein is used to what in building body tissues and replacement of damaged tissues that means it boosts the immune system of your fishes it contains physio local molecules such as hormone and eczemas we have two classes of protein for fish namely the plant and the animal protein that means for your fish formulation there are two classes we have what we call the animal protein you can get get from the animal protein and we get from the plant protein but firstly i'll be talking about the animal protein animal protein some of the animal protein the materials that you can get your fish meal from is what we call the fish meal fish meal that's number one that's our source of material for our crude protein the fish meal the chicken intestine i'll be telling you how to process in depth about how to process this note don't be honest kitchen uh, chicken intestine is highly proteinous too as well but it needs processing you can put it you can process it by your what uh, drying it process it with salt make sure that the bacteria is off you dry it very well you grind it with your material and you are good to go and uh, what we call the chicken ovals yeah ovals are the remnants from chickens not only the intestine there's something that comes again from the intestine there's something you pick the remnant from the legs and cook their source of protein your blood meal your blood meal is a source of protein your feather meal is a source of animal protein your poultry actually waste they are source of your animal protein your baby pigs they are source of your animal protein milk waste or beauty waste they are source of your animal protein and the blood the bone meal they are source of your animal protein please these are just an example of ingredient of animal protein you can access this depending on the locality the area you are that you can access yours so depending on where you are and i told you earlier this comes with what we call processing so you need to know how to process them basically i mentioned about the pig kits those are maybe if you are rearing pig and you just have a day old pigs that died the, you can fillet it and uh, dry it and you mix it with your ingredient you dry it very well we don't normally go into like going into those uh, 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 alternation which is really affecting and again what we call the maggot is a source of animal protein if you can process your maggot very well i remember then on like when we have bsf and stuff now i do go to where the pigs they are selling pigs and i buy dead pigs very big one i put it in my farm i have this very big place and i put it and i leave it there 
and this started giving out what we call there's a way i place it on the match and from the base i put what we call the pan and this started bringing what what you call maggot that's what i use for my fishes so let me head this episode so we continue with our episode 12. so make sure that you watch continue watching this episode so thank you so much and god bless you